hello guys welcome to another amazing photoshop tutorial in today's tutorial i am just going to be teaching you how to um reduce tummy maybe you have a client that tummy is very big or something and you feel like you want to remove it i'm going to show you a few ways that you can use in doing that so i am going to open a new layer i want to show you methods that you can use so first of all let's let's open let's fill up this layout now what you're seeing here is a plain paper so in this plain paper for those of you who don't understand this same method works for manipulation for this plain paper i am going to draw a circle with a selective whatever i normally forget the names of this elliptical marquee tool so i'm going to open a new layer now now in this circle now there is nothing on it but i want to give it a form so i'll bring this down so i'm going to use my brush bring down my brush to about eight percent then i am going to start painting from the edge i'm going to give it this paint this area i'll start like i want to build the, the form gradually so i'm going to increase again then now for this method to work faster i am not going to be using the fill i'm going to be using the opacity so opacity you gradually fill up the more you paint the more it becomes um, thicker so i'm going to keep painting then i'm going to bring more take it down a little again then paint again yeah still giving it this look mm. then now instead of this let's use the paint brush and I'm going to keep this on so that when I paint it won't give me a clean brush so I'll just paint it this way sorry but I'm what I'm trying to do here, I'm just trying to show you okay let me bring this down let me, let me bring this down to then paint towards this area again now i'm just trying to make you see that i'm trying different methods so i still bring it down around here then still paint from this edge yeah so take a little take a little from here then paint up take a little here paint then go back bring it down paint again paint this area again bring it up so we have something we are building here so with this now this is already looking like a build circle wish if i want to give it more good form so I'm, I'm going to come here just maybe do something like this on the ground then fill it with something maybe darker then control delete sorry control or delete then i push it up a little bring it this way Then feather it. Then I'm going to. I like using this flow a lot. Then I'm going to just make it fade 
away so looking at this now you just have something that has form so what i'm trying to explain to you here is that if you want to create anything as an artist because you doing a retouching you're actually an artist you must understand that everything that we do works with the light and shadow photography is painting with light so with this already if i remove this you find out all i did was just paint one side if i keep it back you just see that like there's a circle there and it has a base which if i'm still going to paint this i am going to still bring this down let me select the color first of all i'll come here select the color then go down on that color then see paint this area a little to match the base yeah something like this so in other words what i'm trying to tell you is that if we want to actually come up with the how to fill this place up we understand that there is light here and there is light up here so we have to remove the light in this middle and sometimes you can decide to use brightness and uh, contrast but let's try curve if it's going to work so i'm going to just invert it i raised it up i raised the curve up and i inverted it and i'm going to paint i'm going to reduce my flow more so that i can start painting gradually okay these are before these are after we already have something to work with so this particular area still has some let's try increasing the red a little because uh, what we did has removed some of the yellow so we create another curve then let's see how we do that same stuff just for this area can decide to bring down the opacity or fill and just paint some of these areas and um, still just dab it a little as you can see doing that has already changed the color so we have to add more red we have to add more red add more red to the add more red to this one too then go to the greens and add a little yellow so when you look at the image now you see a before and a after before and after so i'm trying i'm discovering that this place is too bright so i'm going to start from okay i'm just going to reduce this a little i'm going to reduce this a little then after doing that i know i've done a lot of work already then i could just merge everything together then do a frequency separation i'll just keep it at five and then just go ahead and do the painting the same way you retouch the face is what i'm going to do now just going to paint like uh, so don't do it too much so it will not be looking fake just make sure whatever you're doing at this point you're you're being very careful now for this red now i am still going to just touch um when you're doing a frequency separation it takes a lot of time sometimes if your system is slow it takes a lot of time so sometimes we have to wait for it to finish touching the areas that we've touched or sometimes your system might just hang from there and you have to start from the top but nevertheless this is still working it's trying to touch the areas that we have touched in the image sorry if my system is too slow for this class sorry 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 
I see if okay my system is more functioning because the brush is still painting as you can see it's still painting when it's done I can now go back to Photoshop and still inside here I want to reduce the red that I'm seeing there I'll just bring the red down sorry that's not red I'll enter the red and bring it down just small then okay the system is still freezing but i just believe you understand what i'm actually trying to show you i'm going to take this up and i'll keep it around there then i will just create a mask for it because i just want it to be on these areas bring back my flow just here then i'll go back in make sure my red have reduced the the amount of yellow i'm seeing the amount of red i'm seeing in that yellow okay now it's too greenish so let's keep it at eight So this is our before and this is our after. This is our before, this is our after. So if this video was helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up and also give me a like. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you subscribe. And that is it for today's video. See you in another video.